Hi, this is Connor Hare and Alex Meter with Perception Squared, and today Alex is going to show you some of our favorite features of Skybox Studio version 2. Cool. Let's get started. All right. So, um, what we've got here is uh, we've got open in uh, After Effects um, a stitched shot from a piece that uh, Connor and I directed for the Tourism Authority of Thailand. Um, and as you can see in this shot, we've still got the tripod down here, so we need to remove that. Um, we have a previous method that we used to use with uh, Skybox Studio One that involved using cube maps and going in and out of Photoshop, but there's a much easier, simpler way to do that now using the Skybox Composer, and we wanted to show you a little bit more about that. So the first thing we need to do is go to Window, and then open the Skybox Composer panel. It's going to come up in this panel over here by default. Um, and then we're going to go Add 2D Edit, and then you'll see here that all the comps in this After Effects um, project are here. So we're going to select this one, and we're going to select our comp width, which is 3840, and then Add 2D Edit. It's going to do a little algorithmic magic here, and it's going to make these subfolders. Um, and we've got Edit and Output here. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this one right here as our edit, and we're going to lock that. And we're going to set this one as our output, and we're going to lock that. So this is our echo rectangular output, and this is the um, this is the de-warped. Basically, this is the same as if we were looking at it in like a YouTube or a Facebook viewer. So then what we're going to do is select our camera tool, and this will let us look around the same way you would in one of those player tools. It's basically de-warping that rectangular into a spherical viewer. So now we're going to look down at this tripod here, um, with a lovely sandbag on it, and we can, without even going to a cube map, we can now go in and use the clone brush uh, to get rid of this. So what I'm going to do is right click here, and then go open layer. That's going to open this third layer over here. Let's actually move this over here. There we go. Alright, so now what we're going to do is just uh, get our clone brush and uh, just the same as you would do in Photoshop or any clone brushing capable program, we're just going to make that go away. Alright, now that's gone, we can close that down. So you see it's gone here in our edit viewer, um, our composer viewer, but if you look at the rectangular final output over here, it has also disappeared there. So these changes here have been applied into the echo rectangular with no need to do any converter settings or change anything. It's automatically just dewarped those changes and applied it to here. And then from there, it's a really simple matter of just exporting this, and we can pull it back into Premiere, and the tripod painting is done. Very simple and straightforward. And there you go. That's a good example of uh, putting the Skybox Composer to use. Um, we do a lot of uh, tripod painting like this. We're pretty meticulous about that for all of our videos. We don't like to use patches, and we really like to just make the camera support disappear. And that uh, used to take a lot of time, um, going through converters and and a um, cube map and having to run that through Photoshop. This workflow will allow us to do that a lot faster with a lot less manual labor, so we're pretty excited about that. Yeah, it'd save us probably 30 to 40 shots on Thailand alone and a lot of time. Um, we're also really excited about the 180 degree support that Metal is introducing with this uh, update to Skybox. Um, we're big fans of 180 degree content for VR and uh, we think that these additions to Skybox are really going to uh, motivate uh, content creators to uh, shoot in that format because the tools will be available to them. Well thanks for watching. Thanks.